Hi all, welcome to this vlog. I thought I'd do another one um, kind of at home um, to show you what I've been getting up to um, since we've all kind of been a bit more stuck inside. Um, and yeah, to show you what I've been up to from like my daily baths and um, books and kind of little things I've been doing. Um, it's been a really weird time as I'm sure we're all very aware. Um, I've been pretty good. Um, I think I'm trying to like, I guess I kind of thought, okay, well, I'm going to take this time to like get really good at something. So, because I love learning new stuff. So I thought maybe I'd do more videos, which is why I thought I'd do another one, um, just to kind of get used to doing them a bit more. Cause obviously it's still quite new to me. Um, and yeah, I feel like a bit anxious sometimes, but not like crazy anxious. Obviously like I run my own business. So it's like kind of some things are kind of up in the air, but I haven't seen like a huge difference in that yet. So like not like super, um freaking out about that too much i mean you know I'm, i don't like to try and not freak out about things that i can't control and just I, I can't change so that that would be something that i can't change and also i saw my friend um just posted katri i'll link her below she's like a life coach and also she just posted like it's totally normal to feel nervous or anxious when you're doing something for the first time and we are kind of all doing something for the first time like or like finding a new way to do things that we normally do every day and feel like quite confident and chill about. So I guess I'm just trying to think that like, if I feel a bit off, I'm just like, it's just cause this isn't my normal daily life, I guess. So what it, it is now, but <laughs> not normally. Um, but I'm very lucky. I live right by a park so I can like go out every day and I have a walk around there and kind of like see a bit of spring and get some air and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, welcome to the vlog. I hope you like it. So I've actually put jeans on today, which I'm very proud of myself for. Um, these are just my redone jeans. I'm wearing my gel cream t-shirt. Um, I think I'm gonna start the day by making a smoothie. Yes, I am. So what I put in my daily smoothie is banana, use a Nutribullet. Um, and then I use frozen spinach. I just think it gives you like a, like a nice and colder smoothie, which I hate having like a like room temp smoothie. Um, even though I use cold milk and I use oat milk um, because I try to avoid dairy for my skin. So I put one banana in there and then some frozen spinach just so it's like cold and then also it lasts forever. So I don't have to worry about using it all up. And then like a bit of oat milk. And then I'm gonna add in flaxseed. Um, I love that it's great for omegas, it's great for my skin. Um, so I see a huge difference if I do or don't have omegas. Then some protein, just a little bit of hemp protein. And some probiotic from the new, this is the um, glowing skin one. So once those are all in, I put like one or two teaspoons of each. I just zhuzh it up in the Nutribullet. Mm. Now I'm just gonna do a couple of emails before I head out for um, my walk because it's really nice and sunny, so I wanna get out whilst it's nice. <clears throat> so I'm out for my daily walk. We are allowed out for one form of exercise a day here in London. I think what I'm really trying to do, I'm realising, is just do things that um, make me feel really present. So like being in nature always makes me feel really present. And just like look at the trees and branches and blossom. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but um, that makes me feel like in the moment. And then I feel at home I'm doing like baking and reading and stuff. and having baths and all those things also make me feel present and I guess that's the only thing we can do because we kind of can't predict anything right now we can't really plan anything and so I think the best way in general anyway to not feel anxious is to be really present but especially now because we really can't plan anything even if we wanted to um it's kind of out of our hands um falling in my chair um so feeling a little like i don't know i feel like i'm going up and down a lot at the moment i feel like everyone is going a bit mental <laughs> and that's fine so i'm just like made a ginormous cup of tea um in this like almost bowl 
mug um, and I'm gonna keep reading my book which is the Mars Room at the moment um been loving it at first I was like because I just finished um where the Crawdads sing I was like Mm, I don't know. I was just like so in love with the ending and the whole of where the quad I sing. But actually now I'm super into it and I keep reading it at night when I'm really tired. So I want to like read it in the day as well when I can like actually take it in a bit more um, and read a bit more as well. So that's what I've kind of just been doing. Um, and I've got a snack, which is right behind my camera that I'm looking at now, which is Pitta and Hummus, which is my absolute favorite snack. Um, but yeah, just like trying to not feel too like guilty to like, not be doing something and I think that's really easy to do especially when you work for yourself and like the kind of stuff I do and technically I am doing something because I'm filming like a vlog and stuff so but I just always feel like oh you're just wasting your time and it's just like it's okay just be just rest just do what you can do what you feel like but don't um feel bad about not wanting to do something because that's totally fine just have to remind myself that 10 times a day just spritzing my plant. I just never get why plants get so dusty. So I try and like wipe them and then give them a bit of a spritz, like a little shower. <laughs> there is some new ones on here though, which is good. So in terms of comfy clothes, kind of loungewear, I've just been wearing like, have a couple um, like cashmere, um, joggers which are just super comfortable, big socks, then just like a t-shirt or long sleeve top and then this jumper I love which is an American vintage one, it's this kind of like waffle texture, um, yeah they're super comfy. Um, I always sometimes wear like um, like my Pilates leggings and just a big jumper, um, nothing super chic <laughs> um, but um, I am like trying to get dressed in the day just so that I feel a bit more like like break up the day so now it's like 5 30 i think and i'm just gonna sit in bed and read my book with a cup of tea for like half an hour so i just want to get cozy um because it's getting colder as well um the weather so i want to feel really snug genuinely the best bedroom scent in my opinion is this guy by radio saffron it smells like woody but musky but not too sickly <laughs> Um, like not too strong I mean it's just incredible I love it so much so I've got a bit of bubble bath in today I've used the Suzanne Kaufman salts and uh, I've some Dr. Hash got away so I've been loving just having a little moment of relaxation even in the morning. Baths are normally something I would do at night. Um, but probably the past week I've been having one in the morning almost every day and it's been really lovely um, as a kind of way to start my day on a kind of calm and relaxed mindset, I guess. So once I'm out, I'm just going to use a lovely mist. This is the Essie Sensitive Skin one. Love this brand. Recommended to me by my favourite salon, Fefa Sal. Then the Biosense, um Eye Cream. My ring fingers. And I love taking the time to do my skincare. It's always not even like loads of time. I mean, I've just had a bath. So, um, Barbara's done pollution drops. <clears throat> just like enjoying doing it. Um, like, it just makes me feel great in the morning and the evening. And if I want to do an afternoon mask. <laughs> um, I love using a roller in the morning. I actually keep one of my rollers, my rose quartz roller in my, um, in my fridge so that it's like really cold um and you can do that with a gua sha too just i mean like with um like stones so like jade rollers rose quartz rollers and whatnot they should be naturally cold if they're not then they're not real stone 
um, but it just makes it like extra cold, which is nice. My parting's gone all funny today, I'm not sure why. That's what happens when you have a bath, I guess. Um, then what should I put on? I've just put, so I cleansed, did a mist, eye cream, um, antioxidant, anti-pollution, even inside in London, I think it's necessary. Although I feel like I have seen a difference in my skin since I haven't been going on the train. But, and I feel like it's a lot better and less kind of like congested as it, as it can be sometimes. Um, I'm just going to use an oil. Um, I'm going to use, I think the Squalane one again from um, Indie Lee. I just love this one. And it's one of the only ones I can use in the day and not feel like super... Um, like greasy from it and doesn't like um well this light's changing a lot sorry i think i had to shut the curtains again so i think it was like too bright behind so i think people can see me um i always do my chest and neck too um and just get like a bit of massage in there since i'm using an oil it feels so good even if you just go under the eyes to out down oh like that it like if you do that a few times you literally begin to swallow and what's in your face which can make your face puffy and then along the bottom of your jaw pinch it down and then just kind of pull it down the neck it's basically you're taking all the toxins out to your lymph node so that it can drain your face so once it's here you kind of want to move it around this is my yolk dressing gown, absolutely love it. feel really fancy just walking around the house in this and making coffee. <laughs> um, and this is the new addition to my office. Um, so in my last home vlog, I was showing you around the office, but like this bit was kind of the messy bit. So this is this wonderful console. It's like glass and then mirror on the bottom, which I love because I may or may not have hidden some boxes underneath as well as these ones on top, They're a bit more visually appealing and then I can have like a nice little area here um, which I love which is great and great for photos as well um, and then I've kind of pushed my rail along um, and this is the kind of product area now so these are kind of ones that I want to try want to shoot um, kind of vaguely there's like cleansers uh, that's hair uh, that's oils body oils and bath stuff bit of hair in there too these were kind of like masky bits um these are like kind of makeupy um skincare bits as well kind of smaller ones um so there is some kind of uh, method to the madness but not really i just kind of make it up to be honest i'm afraid there's not like an amazing way but that's a great way for me i love like seeing the products because if i put them all in boxes when i want to shoot them i just i forget about them um, or i forget to try them whereas here i can kind of look and be like oh yes i wanted to give that a go today um, and then also on my um, vanity here, I kind of have ones that I'm like, I'll put ones at the front that I'm like, want to give a go to, um, just so when I'm doing my skincare and I can be like, oh yeah, I'm meant to give that a try. And then I've kind of got like my core stuff there that I know I love. Um, and then my makeup bits um, over here. Look what I made, like every other person that had bananas going off. So delicious though. I use the BBC recipe for banana bread and it's the best snack ever. So don't know how I only just realized that NSE OT do shorts because I absolutely love their leggings. Um, love these. Um, making me feel very summery and I'm about to do my first online. Oh my God, my hair is a mess, sorry. Um, my first online um, Pilates workout so i'm intrigued to see how that goes via a zoom call it's obviously not going to be a reformer because um i don't have a reform machine at mine funnily enough so i'm just adding a bit of um bronze this looks crazy bronze at first this is the new oscar nutri bronze i think it's called this one which is like something you put underneath it looks like at first the first time i used it i was like whoa this is insanely dark but actually it's fine kind of once you work it in and then i'm gonna apply like a little bit of concealer on top but it's like really nice at giving you like a nice kind of more bronzy um 
warm complexion, especially at this time of year when it's really easy to be a little bit more um, pale than we want to be, especially since we can't go outside really at the moment. Um, I've still been loving the Dior. This is the Forever Skin Correct I'm Shade 2N. Um, it's this lovely, like, big pore. Um, and I love using it. It's a really creamy texture. But, um, doesn't, and it doesn't get cakey. This is where I'd apply concealer if I'm applying it more as a kind of all-over coverage rather than after foundation and I'm using this is the by Terry sponge it came with the, their new Hydra foundation which I've tried and I love the texture but sadly the color I got was a little bit too light um, for me so I don't want to show it to you because it, it just looks too light so I'm going to try it and get it in I think I was neutral or something like that I think I need a bit slightly warmer even though I am quite pale on my face but this sponge is amazing it's like got this bit here which I really like and also it's huge and I just quite like that in terms of like easily um, applying um, makeup when we are all basically just at home just really perfects that one I love it I've been using it for probably like basically solid for like a, um nearly a month now probably I hate that when I do my makeup my lips look like super non-existent uh, what can I use I'm just going to go straight in with this Gucci Beauty this is a lovely shade it's the Painted Veil 201 actually Great shade for over the eyes, super easy. Um, then I always love um, a bit of bronze and a bit of blush. Um, this is the Chanel, it's their new golden light boom essential, which is this like kind of bronzy color. This is lovely on eyes too. Um, I, the, the kind of classic one of that I love because it's um, just great for like looking highlighty on the cheek. And I love this kind of bronzy one. Um, perfect for as the weather gets warmer. Um, kind of. <laughs> It was really nice last week and then now this week it's like half raining half nice but it's only ever nice for like three minutes max at a time so you can't really trust it to pop out um and then a bit of blush loving the kyle vice uh, this is in cream blush in lovely and i like using the like round end of a of a kind of beauty blender or um, sponge for this. So it's just way easier to like move the product around without messing your makeup up. Nice and glowy. Um, and to be honest, I don't do much more than that since I'm at home. Um, maybe it's brow gel. Get some more brow, why not? You know, I do like boy brow. Do you forget how much I like it? And I always push it up at the end just so that, um, the hair's like stick and it looks more a sheath, that makes sense. Still feel like that already pound, but I'm not sure if it's just this light. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Let's 
Do dark. Um, that is actually a really nice uh, powder blush that I've been loving, which I put on stories the other day. Actually, there's two. There's the new NARS palette, this, which I love. This is Overlast cheek palette. And there's also, where's my blush brush? Um, this Rosy Glowing Coral from Dior, which I love. But all do with a bit of Rosy Glow. Honestly, if I'm wearing like not that much makeup, I wear concealer. And blush, I love blush. I think I've got a bit more of a pale complexion and actually rather than bronzer I feel like it actually just warms my face up rather than like overly bronzing myself um, and brow gel and lip balm or lipstick and then I always finish with a mist just especially if I have used some powdery things just to like take off any powdery edge um so that it looks more like dewy rather than powdery i guess there we go that's all i need really my hair's getting so long i'm literally getting to the point where i think i'm gonna have to chop it myself it just feels a bit lifeless but also i did forget to put any kind of like salt spray in it today so it could also be that <laughs> so plan for this afternoon is do some emails um eat lots of the banana cake i made yesterday which is really great um and read my book maybe get stuck into a new series i got dressed it's friday Woo. um I have been getting dressed generally. I just have been putting on like the same, my like blue jumper that I wear all the time and jeans. And so I feel like quite fun in this. I feel like it's kind of fun to wear clothes that are fun, even though it's weirdly kind of beige. Um, and I also bought some stuff from Paloma Wool earlier. So very excited for that to um, arrive. Wow, I just put some freck freckles on. Forgot how much more I love my look. <laughs> I have to put a bit more makeup on. And they're just like super, just this little, it's like a little um, like eyeliner almost, but it's like a kind of more gingery colour, so it looks more browny and kind of normal. And I just put loads of blush on. Um, I feel like I forgot how much more alive I can look <laughs> um, when I actually bother to put some time in. Funny that. My favourite activity. It's my parsley. She loves it. Here. My fiddle leaf. And this guy. Ivy, maybe? This is actually an orange tree. No oranges at the moment. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful pot from Patch Plants. Where else have we got? Can we go? <laughs> uh, in the office. My peace lily. This girl loves bidding in the sun, just like me. So it's my friend's, well, it was meant to be my friend's um, birthday party, but obviously we can't go, but we've decided, well, she decided that we would all dress up and put makeup on and wear dresses and everything um, to her virtual birthday party on Zoom in a minute. Um, I've got my tequila soda lime. I've put some chili in there too, kind of like picante vibes. I'm, tequila soda lime is my drink, so like the chili is really good, makes it a bit different. Um, and I'll show you my dress in a second, but it's actually just really fun getting all dressed up. So it's this lovely Rixo one. Um, oh, it's bright. 
So it's this lovely Rixo one. It's this really good blue. I was also meant to be wearing this while I was going to wear this to my friend's wedding this month, which is obviously postponed. Got my by far shoes on too, obviously. I have to say, putting like actual <laughs> shoes. I mean, I have been going out for my walks um, and wearing trainers, but actually having like heels on in the house is really fun with my drink. I feel like I'm having a proper Friday night, which is super fun. Um, and I can only imagine the Zoom call is gonna be hilarious because we're all dressing up for it. Making my favorite breakfast that I normally get at um, All Press, which is the cafe near me that I love. So yummy, nothing beats eggs and soldiers. Um, so it's Saturday and it's like painfully nice day outside. So I thought I would paint my nails. Um, I have been for a walk just to kind of like distract myself from like trying to go out again because it's just so nice. Um, and we all know once we paint our nails, we can't really do much else, can we? So um, I get a weird amount of questions about my nails. Weird because I think I have really boring nails because I have them like quite short. Um, there's nothing to them, but I guess I always wear nice colors. So maybe that's why um, I honestly, I've just like got these out now tend to wear like the exact same colors like i have so many nudes um and then i have these like nice maroon reds and then like a bright red sometimes i normally always wear darker ones on my um toenails seriously i have so many i actually really don't need one of these i should probably do <laughs> a tea top like seriously what is wrong with me this is way too many there um of these reds but i do love them this is the one that i've been wearing recently um which is a really nice like dark um red it's nails ink and the color is tailored to perfection love that one and then my favorite one that i always get asked about which is the chanel 646 which is the most amazing just like nude um warmy kind of clay -y kind of color um they have really good ones um i really like this one too which is a bit more of a like kind of purpley one actually I just want to try that one out today. They're not too far apart. Maybe I'll try them more purpley. Oh god, am I going to regret that though? Maybe. Um, and then I have kind of just like top coats and stuff in here that I like to use. Um, or like um, base coats that I like to use. Another red. Okay, yeah. There needs to be some culling going on here. <laughs> Another activity. Decide on my favourite nail colours. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to stick to my favourite. I am. Um, this is a um, Chanel 646 one and I'm just going to put it straight on and then I usually use like a top coat I like this Deborah Lipman one it's gel lab pro um, and then I think there's a bourgeois one yellow top coat and a nail zinc lacquer lock as well um, which I just put on top so that it looks oh and then Rimmel as well god I just have too many of each oh dear um i put on top just to kind of make it look more like a gel like i like that really like glossy thick kind of um almost like squidgy top um and then i've also been thinking what i want to do is like because what i've really felt this week is like i had like up days and down days not like super highs and lows but just like ones where i'm like yeah i know what i'm doing like i'm doing like a good amount of work or like all this kind of stuff but then I've had other days where I'm like, no, not even days, just like moments where I've had like, um, like doubts and I'm like, oh God, like, I don't know what I'm posting. Like, is this what people want to see? Like, is this like, I don't know, appropriate or like, even though I don't think anything can be inappropriate to an extent, obviously, but, um, I've just been really like doubting myself, I guess. Um, so I want to write down a kind of like list of things I know that like make me feel good to do every day even if it's like super easy um, or like quite boring just like things that I know um, if I have a list and I love like a physical list like I love writing things down and like um, ticking things off I'm like an absolute list freak I have like an app on my phone that I love just like writing things down literally just so I can take them off um, <laughs> Um, so I want to do that for like, as in like a daily thing, like as in e.g. like I think I meditate or stuff like that, even if that's like 10 minutes in the morning, I know that always makes a massive difference to how I feel, um, mentally. Um, and then other things like, um, you know, stretch again, I've, I thought I was doing it every day, but then I've actually looked back and I've done it like two or three times. 
um, even if that's just for like 10, 20 minutes, literally just stretching, it doesn't even have to be a workout, just like making sure my body's moving and like, I just feel so good when I stretch um, because I mean, a lot of Pilates are stretching and that's, that's the workout I normally do. I did actually do one online Pilates class this week and it was nice, but I normally do reformer, which is like with the machines. Um, and so it was quite different having it as a mat, but it was really nice. Um, but I think I'm just gonna maybe do one of those a week, but then just continue to kind of do my own thing and find my own groove. Um, and I am trying to walk every day as well. Um, and then, yeah, maybe just think up some other things that would be interesting for me to have on there um, every day as a kind of like, and not to like pressure myself if I don't do all of them, because again, that's just like another thing that I might then like feel bad about not doing. Um, but just like, if I'm like, oh God, I don't know what to do, then I have like something to look at. Because again, like being your own boss as well, it's like, it's great. <laughs> but then in like, especially in times like these, but also just all the time, like no one really, like obviously I work with clients and I have deadlines and stuff like that. And I have an agent, but like in terms of like, actually what am i doing today like that's always up to me um so when i can't then go like oh i've got a meeting or like oh i'm gonna go and do this or it's not even that i would necessarily leave the house those it's just like having the choice to isn't it or just like oh i'm just gonna go grab a co coffee from across the road or like i don't know whatever it might be or catch up with friends and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna do this list and um i'll share it with you um in terms of what i've written down for my daily um, routine I guess um, and this is the colour I don't know if that's going to focus it's like a lovely clay colour um, and then I'm just going to put on a um, top coat after too So these are the things I wrote down. I wrote um, learn, even if just a podcast or a TED talk. Um, I don't want to like put crazy pressure on myself to like learn something, you know, during this time. It's a really hard time. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to like make the most of it. But uh, for me, I know that I feel really happy if I'm learning something. So even if that's just listening to like a podcast I love um, or like a talk that's, you know, it can be 10, 20 minutes long. It's not a big thing stretch um so that can just be stretching my muscles um um on my yoga mat just doing some stretching also like doing pilates or something like that meditate again i know this is something that i feel really good when i do um so i'm going to try and do this um kind of daily i i do go through phases of doing it daily but i haven't been recently i i will say read again this is something that for me i know is super important um and i just feel better when i do it um and i love doing it <laughs> and i love finishing a book i feel very accomplished from it and i think that's a nice feeling to have at the moment um list three things i'm grateful for i think in this current climate it's really easy to feel like not not sorry for yourself but like feel like everything's too much and everything's going wrong and you don't know you can't plan anything and it's kind of freaking you out so i want to like remember things i'm grateful for even if that's just like my comfortable bed or something like that or like the meal i made myself today or whatever that is or like my bath <laughs> you know that's going to be mine then don't force creativity, let it come to you. I think that's something that I really um, struggle with. Like I um, I feel really stressed out if I can't fulfill my creativity like that's in, in me. So I wanna like make sure that like I'm not trying to like force it. Like it's never the moment when I think I'm gonna do it really that I do my best work. It's normally when just like some random little thing I did and I'm like, oh, that's actually quite good. So um, kind of don't stress out if I'm not being creative as well. Um, I'm allowed to relax too and not just be creative. And then also don't stress if you don't do any of these because I don't want this to be another stress to have to do this every day. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure you subscribe because I'm doing lots more videos and I'm going to do some beauty specific ones as well. Um, and I really appreciate you watching genuinely. This is such a new thing for me. So every watch I'm like, yay, and every comment. So um, let me know what you think as well. And if you'd like to see anything specific in the comments below. Thank you.